We all love that excitement when we have a new project idea, right? It's fantastic. We know exactly where we want to go. Our destination is all gleaming and awesome on the horizon, and we just have to get there. Unfortunately, there's always a big old traffic jam on the highway to project success. There are all these little obstacles, little technical things we have to handle that usually have nothing to do with our cool idea. Sure, we'd all love to drive to where we're going without hitting the same traffic jam on the same part of the road, and there's nothing ever wrong, so what's the deal, people? Anyway, (laughs) what we need is an express carpool lane that can get us past all of those little annoyances and straight on with the business of launching our project. And it better not have a toll road either, right? Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. We all want a fast, affordable way to get our project idea off the ground. My guest today is Daniel Ogilvie from Texas Instruments, and we're going to take a look at TI's Launchpad development platform, which might just be the ultimate express lane. Before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find out even more information about Texas Instruments Launchpad Development Platform. Hi, Daniel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hey, good to see you. Thanks. Okay, so I've been to Maker Fairs and I've heard about Launchpad, but I'm not exactly sure what it's all about. Well, Launchpad is basically just TI's solution for rapid prototyping with modular hardware, intuitive software, and lots of community support. Okay, so Launchpad isn't just a board, right? There's a whole universe of stuff involved with it. Exactly. So the whole concept of Launchpad is to take engineers from evaluation to production. We do this in three ways. The first is open source and extremely modular hardware. Next is scalable, intuitive, and flexible software. And to top it all off, easy and affordable path to production through TI resources and through community support. The Launchpad ecosystem makes it really easy for developers of any experience level, whether you're a student, a maker, a pro maker, or a professional engineer, to evaluate TI, silicon, and software and streamline your development. Excellent. So we're all geeks here. Let's dive down into some details. Definitely. So there's over 20 different types of launch pads for any need you might have. Wow, cool. Yeah, so like I said, they're modular and completely open source hardware. Some of them are even as cheap as $9.99. Really? I spent more at Starbucks this morning. (laughs) (laughs) We have both 16 and 32-bit MCUs. Some are even integrated connectivity system on chips. As you probably know, MSP430 is the ultra low power leader in the semiconductor industry. Some technologies like FRAM, Energy Trace, and InstaSpin really differentiate TI Silicon. But the Launchpad ecosystem is really unique because of the hardware debugger and the booster pack headers. All right, so tell me more about these booster business. Sure, so the booster packs is TI's way of expanding and adding modular hardware to these launch pads. Okay. It includes stuff like TI's wireless portfolio, subgig, NFC, Wi-Fi, Zigbee, BLE, and Bluetooth. But we also have a lot of offerings from third parties like analog, sensors, displays, and even some from the maker community. Cool. Yep. And all these launch pads feature TI MCUs and have a standard booster pack interface. Everything from the ultra-low power MSP430 through the higher performance C2000 and Hercules devices, system on chip Wi-Fi, and our brand new MSP432, which is a low power ARM M4F device. Very cool. So, Daniel, I think I get the hardware picture. Let's talk about the software side of things. Sure. So, on the rapid prototyping side, we have Energia, which is a super lightweight, wiring-based IDE and entirely community-driven. If you're just looking for quick evaluation, we have CCS Cloud, which is a browser-based IDE. But if you're looking for more advanced or pro tools, we have CCS, IAR, and Kyle. So, basically, the Launchpad software gives you multiple points of entry, depending on what your needs are. All right, let's talk about that first section. Uh, What is that? Energia? It's not the new Cirque du Soleil show, is it? (laughs) No, it's an open source IDE based on the wiring architecture. So it's very similar to the Arduino IDE. Okay. It's basically just a huge collection of APIs to control the Launchpad I.O. It includes stuff like I2C, UART, ADCs, SPY, even stuff like servo and Wi-Fi libraries. So can you show me exactly what this looks like? Sure. So basically what we're doing is we're abstracting away all the low-level C code that you would typically have to write for a microcontroller, taking it into the peripheral driver library and simplifying it even farther so you have one line of code. Ah, okay. So what if I just want to kick the tires a bit? Do you guys have any cloud-based tools? 
Yeah, so we have Code Composer Studio Cloud, which is a browser-based IDE, and it lets you get started extremely quickly. We have something called Resource Explorers, which has lots of code examples, all the design files you need, and because it's cross-platform, you can use it with any TI Launchpad. Cool. Basically, it allows instant evaluation of TI Launchpads. So how does this compare with your traditional Eclipse-based IDE? So it doesn't have quite the same functionality, but if you're looking for a traditional IDE, you should try Code Composer Studio. It's TI's full-fledged IDE, and it's free to use if you're using a launch pad. It has tools such as Energy Trace and Grace, and Resource Explorer exposes thousands of code examples and technical material, and it has all the features of a traditional IDE for debugging. Okay, so Daniel, what if I want to change environments at some point? Am I going to get in trouble here? No, if you wanted to start in Energia just to evaluate the launch pad, it'd be really easy to import that sketch into CCS. Cool. You can even create hybrid projects where you combine low-level C and the abstracted Energia APIs. This allows you maximum flexibility during code development and multiple points of entry, depending on what you're comfortable programming in. Excellent. Okay, so say I have my project up and running and actually nothing's working. I'm stuck. Where do I go, Daniel? It's a great question. There's actually several different resources you could check out. The first one I would recommend is 430. We also have the ETE community at TI.com, TI Designs, Hackster.io, and the Launcher Design blog. I'll kick off with TI Designs. So what this is, is just a comprehensive library of TI reference designs. This has everything, including schematics, Gerbers, block diagrams, design files, and test reports. So where would I go if I want to meet up with some launchpad like-minded folks? Sure. So like I mentioned earlier, TI's ETE community is probably the best place to start. It's okay. monitored 24-7 by apps engineers inside TI. There's over a million Q&As available on demand. And if for some reason your question hasn't already been answered, you're sure to get an answer extremely quickly. Excellent. On the flip side, 430.com is a community-driven forum with over 30,000 active members and is extremely Launchpad and Energia friendly. Very cool. All right, before we go, Daniel, tell me a bit more about this Hackster.io. Sure, Hackster.io is a really cool repository of a ton of different projects. Cool. For Launchpad, we have over 100 projects and several thousand community members. Everything from a Game Boy using an MSP430 nice. to IoT real-time dashboards. You're sure to find something to spark your next project. I like it. All right, so when I'm ready to get started, oh, where do I go for more information? You're going to want to go to www.ti.com slash launchpad. On this portal, you can buy a launchpad and booster pack plugin modules, find the right software to fit your needs, and start development today. Excellent. I'll do just that. Well, Daniel, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. And before we go, don't forget to click that link. There you can find out even more information about Texas Instruments Launchpad Development Platform. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, check out EE Journal's YouTube channel or the on-demand section on eejournal.com.